Hello guys, my name is 9 to 5. Mr. 9 to 5. Ha! I try to be like James Bond and introduce myself like him. Fail! I fail! In this video I wanted to dug deeper into my childhood. And when I go deeper, I go Digimon deep. There is no childhood for a man or a woman of my generation that does not know anything of these adorable creatures with the power to burn you into ashes. You see, I've always been a huge fan of Darwin and his theory of evolution, and there is no digivolution without evolution. Get it? Digivolution? Evolution? Pokemon does highlight Darwin's evolution theory, but Pokemon was always too soft for me. With Pokemon that are constantly shouting their names like Pikachu with his Pika 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 Pika. Please, life is much more complex than Pokemon. The world of Digimon, on the other hand, is a world that can be compared to ours on different levels. The Digimon digital world is this huge world that is constantly referring to evolution, survival of the fittest, chase of flight, and much more of these. And to prove it, I wanted to begin this new series called Explaining Digimon. I take one Digimon or an aspect of Digimon, I deconstruct everything and bring up the science and intelligence behind this amazing franchise. And today we're going to take a look at perhaps the most popular Digimon, Agumon. And the moment I went looking for this cute little reptile's Digivolutions line, I was like, oh my god, this Digimon has maybe over 60 forms. And so I was there, sitting, alone, in the dark, asking myself, do I, do I really have to do this research and bring up all these forms? Something told me that I shouldn't do it. Oh heck, I did do it. So Agumon, this cute little reptile Digimon can evolve into all these different Digimons. It's totally amazing. In fact, before speaking about the different Digivolutions, did you know that Agumon is already a species that, that varies a lot on its own? A good example would be to compare Agumon to a tiger. Tigers live their lives in forests, grasslands, rocky mountains and more of these, and usually they have the color yellow to orange. But in the more colder areas, white tigers have been spotted and their fur is white. Same goes with Agumon that has a snow white variant. Snow Agumon he's called. Every species adapts to its surrounding mates. Every species. And Snow Agumon developed differently as he can't even use fire anymore. So Agumon has a lot of these variations which makes everything even more awesome and quite frankly more complicated because his core DNA and this mysterious place we call the Digimon world can change a Digimon into the most strangest creature. Oh, by the way, there is also this very strange Agumon variant called Toy Agumon, which is basically a toy Agumon, but it's not worth studying. Because how would it sound if it digivolves? I mean, metal, toy Agumon, seriously? It makes no sense. Alright, we are going to be focusing around two different Agumon variations and their digivolution line. Pay attention, it's going to be a lot and huge. If it's too much, I recommend to go and take a soda while watching. We are going to pay attention to regular Agumon, the one we all know, and Agumon X. As I said before, Agumon is this tiny dinosaur on his way to adulthood. And Agumon X is another variant of Agumon, except that he carries the X antibody, sort of like his special drugs in the Digimon world. And Agumon X is an altered version of Agumon that enhances its dinosaur traits, becoming more saurian in nature. And when Agumon or Agumon X digivolve, that's when everything changes. Agumon evolves to Greymon, this huge muscular tyrannosaur with his hard cranial brown shell, a known aggressive monster with a rough disposition and a body like a lethal weapon. Seriously, you see him in front of you, you're going to be running away, except that he can use his Nova Blast, so you're going to be, yeah, ashes again. Agumon X can transform into two different Greymons. There is Greymon X, who looks more ferocious than regular Greymon and has an increased aggression due to the X antibody, but is smaller in physique. So regular Greymon is much bigger than Greymon X. And Agumon X can also transform into Geo Greymon. And assuming from the word Geo, which means Earth, Agumon X probably grew up in another habitat and had different circumstances, ma making him digivolve into this unique Digimon this is conjectured to be a subspecies of Greymon. Its body and the carapace on its head have also developed like a full length little weapon and its appearance has become way more aggressive. So that's basically when the X antibody intervenes, it makes the Digimons more aggressive. So now we already came to three different Greymons with their own characteristics and looks. You can see that these Digimons are from the same ancestors but have a different look based on the different circumstances that made them evolve. And us humans, depending on which country we are raised, we're also going to change in characteristics. People from the Netherlands are in average taller than people from, example, the North Pole. 
There is one thing that I like a lot in Digimon. These different Digivolutions depends not only on the habitat but also on the genes you have. And us humans have also genes that lie dormant. And even scientists today still don't know what it means or what we can do with these dormant genes. Ever heard of the word atavism? In biology, an atavism is a modification of a biological structure whereby an ancestral trait reappears after having been lost through evolutionary change in previous generations. Reason why I talk about atavism is because, you see, Agumon belongs to the family of metal empire, meaning that they have altered genes, genes that doesn't really resemble any kind of genes from other Digimons. Through this process of evolution, Agumon can awaken these metal genes inside of him to grow even more strong. Regular Agumon that already transformed into Greymon can digivolve to Metal Greymon, a cyborg Digimon. And it mechanized more than half of its body. This Digimon is, is, is scary, and you should be scared of it. This Digimon's offensive power is said to equal that of a single nuclear warhead. And seriously, a nuclear warhead? We're talking about this immense explosion power. And you will see Metal Greymon if Greymon evolved correctly. But if something bad happened in that process, something really, really bad, then Greymon will transform into Skull Greymon, which is basically the skull of Metal Greymon, or Greymon if you want. Skull Greymon is a skeleton Digimon whose name and design are derived from Skull Greymon, skull, like in skeleton. We're talking about the Digimon that put too much importance on fighting, and as a result of its combat instinct, it clung to life despite its body rotting away. And its whole body became like nothing but bones. And as it doesn't have even a scrap of intelligence to balance its combat instinct, its existence is a threat to other Digimon. Of course, when your body is rotted away, I imagine your brain is also going to melt or disappear. So, alright, he has no intelligence, he only loves to fight. Who wouldn't be afraid of this giant skeleton that is as huge as buildings? But anyway, that was Metal Greymon and Skull Greymon after regular Greymon Digivolve. Greymon X can digivolve to Metal Greymon X. And he looks a lot like regular Metal Greymon. He looks maybe more futuristic, I guess. And Geo Greymon can digivolve to Rise Greymon. And Rise Greymon is yet another cyborg Digimon, coming from an Agumon X that evolved differently. It has mechanized more than half of its body, and despite its large build, it flies to the sky to attack enemies. Regular Metal Greymon, Metal Greymon X, and Rise Greymon are both ultimate levels but really look nuts and very aggressive. You know, Digimon, by the way, is kind of a religion because we're talking about prehistorical creatures mixing with future technology. It's amazing. And still, we are far from being there. Regular Metal Greymon can further digivolve into its mega form called War Greymon. And War Greymon is a dragon Digimon whose name and design are derived from War Greymon, meaning Greymon, like in ready for war, he is the strongest dragon warrior whose body is clad in armor of the super metal called Chrome Digitoid. It is the ultimate form of Greymon species. Though it differs from the gigantic figure seen in Greymon species Digimon and has the form of a man type, it has rapidly improved its speed and power and is likely impossible to defeat it with the attacks of an ultimate Digimon like Metal Greymon, whose offensive power, by the way, equaled a nuclear attack. Even Metal Greymon won't be a match to face War Greymon. And the armor equipped to both of its arms exhibits immense power, while simultaneously being double-edged swords that put its own life at great risk. So seriously, he's a very dangerous, dangerous Digimon, and his shields on his back can be used, well, yeah, as a shield. So not only is he strong offensively, but also defensively. Now, we had Rise Greymon, and he can transform into Shine Greymon. It fights with the Red hot solar energy it accumulates. And as far as I know from my research, Shine Greymon isn't as powerful as War Greymon because War Greymon is considered to be the most powerful Greymon form. But there is one thing cool about Shine Greymon he has alternate forms like the burst mode, that's when he temporarily reached the limits of its abilities through burst digivolution, and wears an aura of solar class high energy flames. And there is Shine Greymon rune mode where it temporarily reaches the limits of its abilities with the help of dark energy, but he is unable to control the power it exerts, so it's only for a short time. And then, we had, don't forget, we also had the X form. Eh? War Greymon X, who is the digivolved form of Metal Greymon X, basically has the same characteristics as War Greymon, so we don't really have to bring that up yet again. 
Wargreymon X does look a lot like Wargreymon except that there are like these slight little changes. I wanted to add yet another species called Black Agumon that I forgot. He digivolves to Black Greymon, Black Metal Greymon, and Black War Greymon. Now, Black War Greymon, the one I loved a lot, is feared as the Jet Black Dragon Warrior, a virus species of War Greymon, by the way. Its creed and principles are the polar opposite of War Greymon. And for example, it exists for the sake of its own peculiar justice. And it doesn't consider itself a fellow of Folgar Digimon, even if they are the same species. He has an immensely strong attack called Terra Destroyer, where he gathers all negative emotions within the Digimon world and perhaps the real world and concentrates them into one spot and then fires it. So we're already talking about basically cosmic beings. And yet we're still not there. Deep, deep, deep in the ancient Digimon history, there happens to be 10 legendary warriors that saved the ancient digital world and among them is yet another cosmic being that has Agumon as an ancestor, as far as we know, and we're talking about ancient Greymon a Mega, or even beyond Mega, who existed only in the distant past. It is told that its strength surpasses that of current Megas, and it certainly is a Mega 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 being, without a doubt the strongest Greymon that is, and parallel to its destructive capabilities, and I'm talking about someone against who War Greymon probably isn't like no match at all. So that's about it. I did not include the fusions because we're talking about Agumon only, I hope you did enjoy it, don't really expect me to, to do yet another video about this, but if you did enjoy it and you ask me to do another one, talk to me, right down below. The Digimon world after all has a lot of these mysteries and it's still my childhood and my name is Nostalgia, alright? So I'd be pleased to unravel it, I'd be pleased to check out this history and these legends, we might have a lot of fun. If I did forget something, please guys let me know, let's talk like I always do. Check out my channel, just go to my playlist, you'll find all my videos sorted out. So if you missed anything, just check it and you'll catch up on those videos. I'll talk about movies, about relations like love, music, games, forum battles and much more. I'm sure you guys will enjoy my content. Just go to the playlist, alright?